Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. There are always imperfections in your camera movements. Well, I guess unless they use a motion control rig or something. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add subtle imperfections to your camera inside of Maya. The great thing about this method is that it doesn't really affect your main animation, so making changes to the primary animation or the camera shake is super easy and efficient. Presuming you already have your camera animation set up, my animation is sort of a steady cam shot, which is kind of lacking a bit of realism. I'm not a huge animator, so don't judge it too hardly, but without further ado, let's get started on the tutorial. Okay, so going across to the camera attribute settings, enable the shake parameters. The first input is the horizontal movement, and the second is for the vertical movement. What we actually want to do is just use an expression to add some noise or randomness to this value. Of course, you could keyframe animate this value, however, this way is going to be way faster. So just right click and select create new expression, and just give it a name. I'm just going to call it shake underscore h for horizontal. Before writing out the expression, just make sure the camera shape is highlighted and also the horizontal shake attribute. Now copy and paste the selected object and attribute text and we're going to want to add this little line equals space noise open bracket frame times select the little you know asterisk x close in bracket asterisk y semicolon. So all we need to do now is switch out the X and Y with suitable values where X is the frequency and Y is the amplitude. I know I want more movement on the vertical axis, so the values here are going to be quite low. However, for an over the top example, I'm just going to use 0.1 for both the frequency and amplitude. So you can see the effect we're getting. I definitely want to reduce the frequency of the movement. Let's just try 0.05 and then let's press edit to apply the new expression. And I think I'm just going to change the amount the camera moves, so just to change the amplitude to maybe about 0.7. Yeah, I think that's working quite well. It's subtle, but adds just a little bit more character to the camera movement. Let's close that and move on to the vertical shake. Again, right click and select create new expression and just give it a name. I'm just going to call this one shake underscore V for vertical. Copy and paste the text from the selected object and attribute and just add the equals noise like that. Again, I like to go over the top and then just dial it back afterwards. So maybe something like 0.05 and 0.05. Maybe 0.03. Okay, that's not looking too bad. Like I was saying before, at any point we just go back in and change these expressions independently from the primary animation so we don't have to waste time like moving keyframes etc and of course you can enable or disable it as you please so that's it for this tutorial i hope you found this video helpful please like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one